Was moving so much white girl through the hoods That bitch got gentrified a youngin' So they told me that I gotta keep an alibi So every time that someone slides News saying someone dies We post it up on IG Live Screaming Eminem Habits featuring White Gold and a bonus reaction for the people. Eminem Trouble, because it's a quick little, um, just a skit in the album. But like I said, we're doing every song on the death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras, leading up to the historic live stream where we will be streaming the entire album. So make sure if you want to be a part of this journey, part of the journey of this channel, you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Now I'm going to shut the up and play the song. Let's get it. <laughs> Been that animation still weird me out. Been waiting a long time for this shit. Well, that Last song was see. crazy. Uh. You got rid of my ass, huh? <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this, or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here. Fuck no. We'll split it. No. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan. Fast as I can in Pakistan. Getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. If my shit, I'm gonna. Mm, okay, so uh, he he starts off with. Um... Straight out of van in a black sedan. Eyes. Here. Fuck no. We'll split it. No. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan. Fast as I can in Pakistan. Getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. If my shit, I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Wanna spit Whether it. kids are finished, suffer dick and fuck a critic. Not to get retarded. On... Finish up a dick and fuck a critic. It's my shit, I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Wanna spit it. kids are finished, suffer dick and fuck a critic. Not to get Does it. Ever sound like an entirely different rapper in this song his voice sounds so much different than in the other uh, on the last song we reacted to i usually don't even renaissance nigga renaissance it sounded like oh four m this definitely sounds like more modern day um m the adivans adivan bar popping it i need to hear I where he's gonna oh, of course i get an ad that's why you never click off the video you're reacting to but um Okay, we're gonna see out of van, out of van. Let's see. Been waiting a long time for this shit. Long time no see. His voice sounds so different. You think they did some AI to make him sound younger in the last one? Here's what we're gonna do. You take this, or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here. We'll split it. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van. So him and Shady in the whip. Fast as I can. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. If my shit, I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suffer dick and fuck a critic. I to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't say retarded. Shut up, midget. Stop fucking trying to break the habit of saying any R words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a kindergarten. This is Jimmy Carter. Now I'm kitty cornered. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I totally understand what Screw is talking about. <laughs> this ah, it's just man, I wanted to like this song and that I'm 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 already seeing why people are not liking this song and I'm still holding out hope because I don't give a damn. Renaissance and Toby are the two best songs I've heard from M in two decades. So I am I was so geeked to hear the rest of this album. This is going to be definitely, you got to understand, right? There's, there's the, the rapping M does where it's that Renaissance where it has a, it, it's not even like it has a message, but he's saying something, right? And while M is technically saying something here, it is being murdered by his need to rhyme words, i.e. the Pakistan out of Pakistan. It's, it's, it, it could be a clever wordplay, but it's like, I just feel like you said that because it rhymed, you know? And it does give of that. But I wonder, for the Eminem fans that love this iteration of Eminem, I wonder, what other uh, artists do y'all listen to? Because it can't be really any artist that, like, with, like, rhythm and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? In PC court with a shitty lawyer. Shit. Like, damn. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever cause you know that I'm prescription, man. God damn, I miss you, son. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever cause you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your yeah. van. It's just a kid from Detroit who... 
And I don't know if I how, how I feel about that. Obviously, he was rhyming man with man with man, but it's like, you know, with the hook, you'd be a little more like a loose on. I don't know how we feel about it. This definitely, uh, I, doubt, I don't, just pacing of the theme-wise of the album, you also remember this is a thematic album, right? So when we listen to this as a whole, I wonder how it will sound, you know, like going from the last renaissance to this because god this is it's it's two different guys it makes you realize more than ever there's a difference between slim shady and eminem and i don't think hip-hop at large like slim shady anymore which is crazy because i feel like niggas like slim shady better than eminem in the beginning but when we get to the points like niggas like you see all the things like dudes 50 just like rapping about midgets and shit but it's Knew He's from the early the, two, the, the early 2000s had a weird fascination with midgets too. You know that Small people. Next time I'll be in your yeah. It was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove yeah. in a miss. Then the mist of poison youth sentences. Yeah. I'm pinning point to proof, man. I pay to proof. Are just a toy with you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just a lyricist, hit a voice, is true. Cinnamons got the women pissed, and it seems like men are just off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, probably annoyed a few feminists. I reminisce on them blowing a fuse over my points of view. Still, I'm devoid of two shits to give. My thinking is primitive, but when it comes to giving it to anybody, boy is Bruce generous. And about as much of a boy is Bruce generous. Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch. Boy is Bruce generous. Boy, Bruce Jenner is Bruce generous. Is. and that's also like a, a odd thing you know it's like rapping about bruce jenner i'm gonna be honest the the whole things that like all that stuff those like red pill all those like political talking points bro i don't give a fuck about them and i don't care i don't care anymore i don't care who's playing in sports i don't care about leave me alone man I just want to listen to hip hop. I just want to listen to rap and I want to stop being beat over the head by political propaganda, whether it be from the left or the right. Can y'all niggas leave us alone? I promise you we don't care. We don't care as people. We don't care. Not every comedian has to have a joke about transgenders. It's all right, dog. It's like, like just like, like how people beat cancel culture dead or it's like come just let it come on bro people can never just do something it always got to overdo everybody has something we're talking about then someone's just gonna take it to a point where it's just like i'm sick of it so like yeah no in my hip-hop i'm not i'm not interested in hearing about bruce jenner i don't and it's like i don't give a fuck honestly i don't give a fuck about bruce jenner i don't give a fuck about him does bruce jenner give a fuck about us does Bruce Jenner give a fuck about hip hop? Does Bruce Jenner give a fuck? Why? Man, get this. Generous, and about as much of a boy as Bruce Jenner is. Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch. Man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose gender is. Ah, that's so whack. <laughs> you know? To anybody, boy is Bruce generous, and about as much of a boy as Bruce generous. Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch, man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose generous. This shit is like opioid abuse, isn't it? Yep. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever, cause you know that I'm prescription, man. I'm thinking of the story so far. So it started off with Eminem, like a, 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 a renaissance. I just sort of felt like that was him. Sort of like a PSA on the state of the game. I always say that with artists when it's just like you talk about, you talk about like how I might delete this later and stuff and like how we are over critical and we hyper scrutinize this culture. It's a line I used in my Toby freestyle. Go check it out, Body Now. But he talks about all those things. And then the next song, he pops half a Quaalude and starts complaining about Bruce Jenner and transgenders. It's a crazy car ride, my nigga. That's why y'all got quit doing drugs because it'll just like thematically, where is the theme? But it's still early. But it's like I don't see a through point from this song to the next. Um, the last. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription. Next time I'll be in your bed. There's times when I lay down to sleep, I argue with myself. Am I the only one who thinks this way? I need help? 
Just a little bit. Know a lot of it. I really, really gotta quit. Something's wrong with me. My God. And I'm gonna be honest, it's almost like an out of dated rage bait, right? I know a lot of people like don't this is this is the honest to God truth. A lot of us don't get enough um healthy stimuli, right? And so if you look in this cup, this cup, there's some coffee in there. You know, I'm I'm looking something to give me a little like, like you know, but I don't want to do that ever. So I drink coffee, right? Um, you want to be, you want to laugh. You go watch some shorts. You want to laugh. You come watch me. You, you want to be mad. You go watch it. But I think we, for the, those of us who don't get those kind of positive stimuli, maybe working out, maybe you know, like getting positive affirmation from somebody that you love, whether it be accomplishing a task, things like that, that can give you. They look for rage bait. They look for things to piss them off because as humans, we just want to feel alive. And I don't fault you for it, but you should definitely know, like, that's not a thing. Like, just being edgy for the sake of edgy isn't a thing. I, I Dave Chappelle top, uh, tackled the same topic with, I think, a little more nuance and feel. But it's just like, I feel like that, like, so you're going to do the, the, the manosphere stuff, the, the, the sexuality gender orientation all of those kind of joints and those are they're just trying to piss you guys off man i don't think you realize it but if you think about it, it's like that's something eminem is eminem is a shock jock that i the only reason i know who christopher reeves is in the superman thing because that's before my time it's because of m beefing with a crippled, a crippled evan a crippled superman it's like a nasty dog you're sad that people are mean. Well, I'm sorry. The world is in one big liberal arts college campus. F you. You're all pricks. Mom shaming, dad shaming, yeah. Fat shaming, man's plenty. Black cry babies, attack shady. Wah, mad cause they can't tame me. They come to censors like the Avengers. And they assemble like Prince and then turn a word like ginger into the N word. All these pronouns I can't remember. They of them there's plenty black cry babies attack shady when mad because they can't say me they come and i go i'm just be real with you i don't believe that these are genuine problems in eminem's life i live in austin texas right this is probably one of the most liberal points um places on earth this place is li liberal to a point that you will probably want to throw up at times of like come all right nigga because like i said i don't care either way right this isn't really a factor in my life. Like, man, split. All these things that... I think those are just internet narratives. Like, be real with me, nigga. When you're laid up with a female and shit, are y'all talking about this shit? Is mansplaining... When you're with your actual loved ones and your homies, are you talking about mansplaining? Are you talking about things like that? Like, I feel like that's just shit for people to argue about on the internet. I don't think that's real. I'm gonna be real with you. Maybe I just live in a bubble of, like... Like, I was about to say happiness, but nigga... Where we're not really talking about shit we don't care about. In my bubble right now, we're talking about, like, this album. We're talking about what Kendrick got going on. We're talking about LeBron James' son. Um, we might even have a little Caitlin Clark dialogue. We might talk about what's going to happen to the NBA. Like, you know, just my interests, you know, stuff like that. In y'all bubbles, do you guys talk about that? I seen that one corny-ass YouTube nigga, the Stevie Knight dude. I saw he has, like, another channel where he's, like, a, essentially a, like, he, he was telling, like, your, 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 you know, for slanging your slang. It's like, dog, why are you making YouTube videos about dudes beating off? Like, but I realize it's a weird, different culture. It's a different vibration that these niggas is vibrating to where talking about like 14 year old kids beating off and, and, and then making a statement on their sexual orientation based off of that in your mid thirties, you live in such a weird, isolated, conservative bubble that you don't realize you're the creep. You're the weirdo. You're talking, think about, he's like 30 plus. Talking about a nigga, a kid, who, who most people are, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're fapping, you know what I'm saying? It's not like teenagers and shit. Like, that's what you doing. It. Like, why do you care? Why, why do you not want to talk about Eminem and like the bars and like, Deep, Cause if you deep dive in this, in this, it makes sense. What we're talking about. If you're listening to MC Abdul, you're talking about the words with it. But it's like the censors, like the Avengers, and they assemble like Prince and then turn a word like ginger into the N word. All these pronouns I can't remember. And that's fine. Nah, that's true though. That's true. Oh. He said all these pronouns I can't remember, but that's not the part I said that's true. Was um, 
U-turn where it's like ginger into the N-word and it's like N-word and you just have to understand that there's not going to be the cultural significance and the cultural evils on these other words that you're trying to. Like, you know the F-word that is a, a derogatory term for homosexuals? Yeah, there's so much evil and hatred on that word. You, you totally, yeah. Okay, niggas don't gotta say that word no more. I feel you. You don't want niggas saying that? I feel you. Because I get, I, I, if you do some history, you realize it's not a word you'd want to be called if you was, you know, one of them niggas. But because when you get to telling me ginger and shit like, damn, I ain't even know ginger was derogatory. Him, there's his or him, hers. Into them girls who bought tits to get attention. Then get and I do, I also I be thinking like, and it's definitely different, but people who wouldn't call, like if, if a guy, if I became a guy, or <laughs> if I became a nigga right now, <laughs> if I became a female, right, and you wouldn't call me the desired name I'd want, you're a weirdo and you're a pre you have a weird prejudice. And it's not because you have to believe in what I'm saying. It's a respect thing. You would be the same people who would call Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay. Let's just be honest. You would do that. It's not about whether I believe in what you believe in. I just understand that we have to share space on this earth. And again, I don't give a fuck. Because my parents didn't name me Queso. But everybody calls me Queso. So if you want to go and, and you know, you understand, it's just respecting. I would, I don't, I'd be like, why do people care? Like, why does it burn your tongue to call somebody who you don't think is a, a girl a girl? If they want to be called a girl, like what? Does it burn your tongue? To get attention, then get hit on by. You also don't ever even gotta like talk about it, right? And it's like, what percentage of the world is even doing this that we all have such strong opinions? Like, why do people care so much about niggas chopping their dicks off? That's so weird to the dipper. Men who are not in your league, so you pretend you're a big dump and meet to him. How rage, how fake. Now there's some gals, they just cloud chase. Look at me with sour grapes and your brow raised. Bitch, you ain't about head, about face. Little white, middle age, upper middle class with a glass of wine and your cigarette. Bitch, get off the internet. You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet. Parental discretion, mental aggression, my facts. Facts. You get off the nigga, you ain't even fed to get, get off the internet sometimes. There's a, and, and they don't literally mean that there's hella things you could do on the internet that's productive. And I don't even mean productive, like learning a skill. Just not here to make you an ignorant, hateful person. Just go fuck with that shit, bro. Wine your cigarette, bitch, get off the internet. You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got an infrared like a ginger step. Sometimes he, he goes off beat with that, but I do like that better. Bro. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got an infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in chess and it's just a mess. God, that gotta be the weirdest. Like a, like a step dad of a ginger i got an info red p the weapon like an evil stepdad i got an infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed i do this shit in just i got an infrared like the gin like that is that is that clever because that's such a weird obscure specific um like like analogies a simile that is like i got the nigga what the mess in that with your head and if men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear who cares this shit is their business not fair we just beware bitches to blair which one and that's the thing about eminem man eminem is not the racist um like hateful person that for some reason a lot of um his fans be but if you if you have under, any understanding of what the great white hope is and you understand that that's 100% what Eminem is for a lot of people and he even uh, the next since Elvis Presley and would you understand the great white hope and shit like that you start I get it. it because a lot of times people aren't what we're looking at they're symbols for other things and Eminem addresses that a lot but he's not that it and it's it it hurts when you watch because you go Motherfuckers think he's this way, but he's not, man. He's a cool nigga from Detroit. Hangs out with, got a lot of black friends, was influenced a lot by black culture. He tries not to overstep the bounds. He did have them slip ups with the thing. But it's, I, I, nigga, we gave that nigga the like, pass of, you were a child and you don't do this anymore. And we all made a lot of bad mistakes as kids. Yeah, but it's like, damn. 
M ain't, ain't the guy people try to paint him to be, but it's just that fan base. I'm scared, bitches, some surreptitious and square business just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dressed as a hairy Christian terrorist with the hair trigger. But with these buttons, I'm always pushing, pain I'm always inflicting. Protesters outside the shady offices living. It'll make you think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it. Only way for me to explain it is I'm conflicted. Walking on next shows like if I take it too far, is this it? Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it. I'm sorry. So all my statements are basically contradictive. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. And it's insensitive as if me saying the R word isn't. Wait, wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool. Guys. With this rhyme, be okay if South Park did it. Okay, screw you guys. Would this rhyme been okay if South Park had did it? No, Eminem, that's not the thing. A lot of times, um, um, South Park is making political commentary, which you're, or social commentary, which you're doing, but in a much more nuanced way. Like, that last line to me was so brilliant. It's like, I'm not going to say these words because it's like, yeah, man, they were used, they yelled these words at them while they burned them alive, man. That's not, it's just not, it's not the wave, my nigga. Why do you want to offend people? We shouldn't, I come from a world where niggas will hurt you. I come from a world where people will beat you senselessly for their respect. So why do niggas, like, you should never have an entitlement to disrespect. Would it make you less angry if carbon spit it? Yeah, damn it? And as far as what I just stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing, I'm not a minted. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me, I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, you're wicked, face it, you are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady, misogynistic, while raising three daughters who graduated from college with honor. Summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably twisted, it's painfully obvious. You got an addiction, man. Man, that would have been fire if Eminem would have came out at the time and did a song with the baby. Let's get trouble in real quick. Right, here. Drink this. What is it? Eminem Something trouble. It. No. I said drink it, bitch. So it's like him and Slim Shady are riding around and M is just passing, or Slim Shady's passing Eminem all the the drugs in the world. Oh, what the fuck are you trying to do? Get us canceled. Hey, yo. Fuck blind people. What? And deaf people suck. Stop. So do cripples. Oh. Dumb quadriplegic fucks with Christopher whoa, Reeves' love. Shady Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, here comes Marshall to try to clean this up. Shut up. What's the matter, Marshall? Your penis tucked? Oh. But it's like, Eminem, what happened to the song with Joyner Lucas where you were going to make about how you two niggas is gay? Like, if y'all was gay, how y'all would be in the world? What happened to that? Like, bro, I'm going to be honest. I am a black man in America. Nigga, I deal with a lot of racism. I don't be excited to just listen to people hate people for things they get blind. And it's like, obviously, I get what he says. I'm literally trying to get canceled. But it's like, for what? Now you're just saying salacious things for them to be salacious. And this album has the potential to be the best thing you drop since the, um, um, the, the Eminem show, right? And obviously, it's already recorded, so you can't change anything. But... This is a weird path you're going down. I thought we was going to be paying homage to the great catalog you have, not just becoming a forum to hate on crippled deaf and mid like nigga what? Oh, the big bad webber just get his feelings hurt. Let me go, you bitch. Or huh. oh, what, genius, huh? You going to cancel me, yeah? Gen Z me, bro. Little pussy, what's wrong? Thought you was These have bad You going to cancel me, yeah? Gen Z me, bro. Little pussy, what's wrong? Thought you was dreaming, huh? And that Gen Z me, how old is a nigga in Gen Z that this 50-year-old nigga? Like, what? Nigga. Nigga, you not on TikTok, M. Let's be real. You've always been a recluse. You're not on TikTok. What are you talking about? This is the problem with niggas like Andrew Tate and shit becoming popular. The world just wants to talk about, like, what a woman should do in a relationship. But I don't care. God, I don't care. I don't care. When you gonna realize that we fucking need each other? Mm. Eminem believes that he needs Slim Shady. I think that's actually his real problem. Is that he thinks that he needs to be salacious. But, bro, when he's just really talking what, at least to me, feels guilty conscious too. Ooh, that might be fire. What to me feels like the real Eminem, it always hits harder. That was that was ass. But here comes another reaction by Mary here. Pink music video by Mary there. Bow, click on it, show me some love. We got some more music by M coming here soon. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. KBD family, love y'all, I'm gone.